getting fresh air on the Flint River in northern Alabama. The Flint River has many put-in and take-out spots as shown by these red dots in this photo. A great app for figuring out your float plan and getting more information on the put-in and take-out spots is the Go Paddling app. Two outfitters service this area of the Flint River and their links are in the description below. This float took us from Ryland Pike to Little Cove Road. This was about five miles straight line distance or probably closer to seven as the river flows and took us about five hours. Next to the Flint Primitive Baptist Church, there is a parking lot that canoe and kayakers are allowed to use. Brown Bear Canoe and Kayak uses this as one of their takeout points, so sometimes this location can get very busy with vehicles, vans and trailers, and people getting in and out of the river. This location has a smooth start to your trip, but you get into fast moving water right away, so hopefully this isn't your first time in a kayak. Closer to the Ryland Pike Bridge, there is another put-in area here that has a slide. So whether you're adventurous and want to ride the slide in your kayak or just use the slide to help get your equipment down to the water, it's another option for you. So in a previous video, we went from Oscar Patterson Road and took out here at Ryland Pike. We'll put a link to that video in the description below. The Flint River starts way up in Tennessee near, near Flintsville and isn't deep enough or wide enough to canoe and kayak into the northern parts of Alabama. The Flint River winds its way around and eventually dumps into the Tennessee River. This put-in location is private property and used by the North Alabama Canoe and Kayak, or more commonly known as the NAC. Highway 72 bridge, there is a large gravel parking lot which offers free parking. This location is also another takeout point for Brown Bear and one of the next put in points, so sometimes this location can get very busy.
Just like we saw in a previous video on the northern part of the Flint River, this section also has a mix of slow moving water and a little bit faster moving water. And at a leisurely pace, we went from Ryland Pike to Little Cove Road in about five, five and a half hours. Here's another one of those spots to stop and take a break and have some more fun. Go, 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 go. There you go. Yeah, go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Yeah. Nah. There it is. There it is. Go, yeah. from the NAC or you're just using the NAC shuttle when you see these large power lines in this open area this is where they suggest you call them to make sure there's a shuttle en route to pick you up. Shortly after you pass those power lines there's an area where the river actually splits. If you're taking the NAC shuttle, you have to go right to their pickup point on private property. If you're shuttling yourself, at the Little Cove Road Bridge on the left-hand side, there's a takeout point and a large gravel parking lot that's free to park in. That's all I've got for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time getting fresh air.